this courtesy of Hypebeast um, regarding this UK brand called Eliza, um, which I kind of liked what they've kind of been doing. Um, the only thing that I'm a little bit, you know, not really the biggest fan of is maybe the prevalence of tracksuits, I feel like, from these UK brands. It doesn't matter if they're kind of more like what you'd call quintessentially quote-unquote road hood brands or whether they're brands that are kind of trying to emulate what a cold wall did with what i feel like at least kind of has a similar sort of vibe where they sort of you know maybe look out of a cold war and kind of use them as a template or as motivation or as someone to kind of aim for and something they're trying to do which is not a bad thing but i feel like for some reason uk brands tend to have a real tendency to always have tracksuits which maybe makes sense because, you know, youth culture is intrinsically tied to tracksuits, especially here in Europe or especially in the UK primarily. But I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like there's enough of an interesting story you can tell through regular sweatsuits, personally. I think they've all been kind of told. There's only so much bits of panelling that you can do to make them interesting. At the end of the day, it's still just a sweatsuit. Um, there's maybe a bit more interesting ways to kind of tell your story. But regardless, this is um, Elise's autonomy collection, courtesy of Hypebeast. Some decent pieces here and there. Some cool t-shirts that I'm going to focus on, on here, actually on the screen. Um, the first image, they've got a nice um, crop top, turtleneck type of top, which I like the look of. The pants are probably sweatpants, which I'm not really too fond of the slightest. The logo on the back of the t-shirt, I kind of like and I dig. I'm not mad at that. They've got some socks also that don't look the greatest. There's not, you know, maybe, maybe, it's, a, maybe it's the angle, but the elasticity in this sock is not for me. I like my sit to kind of, I like my sock to kind of sit I like my sock to be really tight and then to kind of loosen up over time over wear. But that looks like already it's a sock that's kind of gonna be it's kinda it's kinda gonna talk it's kinda gonna turn into a pair of stockings pretty quickly. It feels like already. But maybe it could be just the angle. So maybe it's just me. The shorts look really good. I like the the the, the look of the shorts. These really big pockets on the side are great. Um I'm a big fan of cargo pants anyway. So any additional pockets I can stuff my fucking, the contents of my Tesco meal deal um, in, I'm definitely going to be happy about that. So that looks great. Again, like I said, this hoodie, I feel like I've seen this before with the paneling and the logo placement and how the pockets, like, I don't know, I feel like I've seen that silhouette or something before maybe i'm too online or whatnot but i just feel like there's maybe a different way to kind of tell the story without it being kind of placed on a hoodie like this but again execution wise it looks fairly decent um i'm sure it's going to be decent quality as well because it does look like it's been cut and sewed and not just a piece that they kind of printed on easily um i feel like this look is probably a little bit too much of a ode or nod to kind of what a cold wall's doing i feel like graphic wise everything about it kind of feels like a little bit too much like a copy of a cold war if that was me personally speaking from it about it personally don't really like that um this t-shirt i'm a fan of the pants not so much again the tracksuit logo top figure i just don't like even though the colors are great um even though if i was being a stickler i'd say that maybe for some reason i'm not too sure why the color finish on the top and the bottom isn't the right the hue on the green maybe it's because of the color it's printed on maybe after it gets printed or screen pressed, whatever it may be, it doesn't take up as well. But I don't like that the hue of the green is different. It looks a bit weird there, personally for me. But um, yeah, the tracksuit stuff, I'm just, I don't know. I'm kind of just over the tracksuit. I think everyone's done it too much. It's kind of been done to death. And also, I don't like this pose. I feel like they should never do this pose again. Um, it kind of, it's kind of giving h and M. It's kind of giving Zara. It's kind of giving, you know, boohoo men. I don't like this pose on slides. It kind of gives that, because I think boohoo men have that thing where they do a pose where the, the camera's like looking up from the feet. I don't get that, why you want to look like a fucking centaur or you can't well, you look like a transformer or some shit, but they've always got that angle where the camera's kind of looking from down above. I'd not really like that in the slightest. So that I'm not really too fond of. Um, the jacket here looks really cool. Hopefully we see another better look at that jacket if it's similar to the shorts. I feel like that's probably where they should be going. Even this knit or this sorry, this sweatshirt graphic is really cool. I love the look of that with the plastic chair. Oh, sorry, it looks like a plastic chair, but it's not. Yeah, I, I much prefer, if they were going to do tracksuits, I'd prefer this tracksuit here look in slide number 14, which essentially looks, instead of like a cotton sweatsuit, tracksuit it's more like a i don't know what you call it material wise uh nylon or whatever um type of shell suit type of vibe with some invisible pockets here on the front like invisible fast like this looks really cool i love the look of this again it's maybe a little bit too a cold wall inspired and maybe what's the what's the other brand like um afix is kind of giving a little bit of afix and a cold wall but 
I still do like the execution of that slide number 14 again the sweatsuit for me is not the greatest the hoodie's all right but the t-shirt graphics are pretty decent which I think they do really well in and this jacket is also a win this kind of like a uh, Macintosh type of jacket it looks like it's really cool I like the look of that with the embroidery on the front and finally this as well with the bag and that's a bit I have to highlight as well I think the coolest thing that they did definitely over the years that I've kind of seen them or recently I guess seen them was this little initiative they did with these bags so I think it's this slide here I've got on this page so this is from a while back um they did this initiative where they basically would give people these free messenger bag type things if you brought in a book that kind of inspired you or something that kind of meant something to you so kind of a swap thing which kind of reminded me a lot of the my time when I went to Nicaragua and I was kind of you know doing a little bit of traveling around there and a couple of the hostels I stayed in had that kind of system where if you wanted to take a book from their library, they have to kind of give a book or you could give a book to kind of just say, yeah, this is kind of meant something to me in my trip. And you usually kind of leave a note on the inside of it and just say, hey, this meant something to me. Hopefully you get something from it as well. And, um, you know, that kind of book exchange sort of stuff is something that I've kind of loved over the years, kind of how I built up a lot of my collection of books as well that I'm kind of into. So I love the idea of like, you know, it being just more than just the clothes and having something a little bit more depth to it. So this was really good that they did as well. That kind of got my attention. But again, I think if you're able to execute something like this with this kind of foresight and insight, I think you should do yourself a bit more of a service and have something more than just like the paneled, you know, sweatsuit type of look thing. You can do more than that, I think. I think they've got more potential for it. So hopefully they're able to do that going forward. But so far, so good. The autonomy collection is going to be available when? What does it say here? Any date here? Take a closer look. Um, you keep an eye on the official brand for further release. So Dios, it's not out yet at the moment, but you can take a look at them if need be. Take a look at it if need. 